hey guys today we are going to do a question on kinematics rotation and this is the part one of the video so we are given the question as a point is given to us that is p 2 comma 3 comma 4 and the transpose is to be used and the frame rotates about 90 degree around the x-axis of the reference frame now we have to find the new coordinates of the point p uh, relative to the reference frame after rotation so first of all we will write the formula that is p nu is given to us as r that is we will be rotating the uh, x axis about the point about a point in the reference frame by an angle theta which is given as 90 degree according to the question and we will be multiplying this part by p old that is this p so now we will write the standard uh, rotational matrix for x that is 1 0 0 0 0 cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta so guys this is a uh, standard matrix for rotation about the x-axis and if you want me to explain how we got this just write in the comment section that you want me to explain how we got this matrix and similarly I also explain how we got the rotational matrix for uh, y and as well as for z now coming back to the question we have written the uh, rotational matrix for x now we will multiply it by the uh, old that is the p old which is given to us that is 2 3 and 4 that is this value now in order to find p new we will put the value of theta as 90 in the above matrix that is this matrix and from there we will get the value as 1 0 0 0 0 0 minus 1 1 0 and now we will simply multiply this matrix by the value of p old and on doing so you will get 2 minus 4 and 3 so guys this is your final answer or p new that is these are the new coordinates of p that will be uh, that the point p will be located at after rotation about the x axis now many of you might get confused that by multiplying while multiplying matrices what are the rows and the number of columns that we will get of the final matrix so there is a simple trick for that suppose if you want to find out that how many uh, rows will be there for the final matrix we uh, we know that we have a relation that number of rows of the final matrix that is the answer over here is equal to the number of rows of the first matrix that we are multiplying that is over here this part it has three rows and the answer will also have three rows now in order to find the column we have the relation as number of columns of the final answer or the final matrix is equal to the number of columns of the second matrix that we are multiplying that is we, here we have only one column so over here also in the final answer we will have only one column so this is a simple trick by which you will not get confused that how many rows and columns the final matrix will have and if you want me to do more questions on rotation do write in the comment just write rotational sorry don't mind the spelling just write rotational in the comment section and i'll make a, another video in which i will do a little uh, hard questions and this was a very simple one and if you were able to do this question in one go just write wow in the comment section and it will be great to know that you were able to do it thank you this is it for this video see you in the next one